I just left a client that I, I was at last week. I went back this week. They've been experiencing some really crazy stuff. Their database got corrupted. And I came in today and the water heater exploded over top of one of the offices and there's a big cleanup crew there. And they've just had like unexpected disaster after disaster. And it got me thinking about fire drills. Maybe there's a place for fire drills in small business. So this whole idea of fire drills, how does this fit in with your business? What got me interested in fire drills today, just pulling pieces out of the business that you normally take for granted and trying to operate without those. If you've got six technicians out in the field, maybe one day you come in and you pull one of those technicians out of the field, you stick them on a customer service desk so they can learn that side of the business, and you tell everybody else, guess what, today, we have to figure out how to do this with five people in the field instead of six. You're gonna find that there's all kinds of processes that need tweaking, there's new things that need to be thought about, there's people that need to be de developed in certain ways, there's managers that need to learn how to deal with stress that they've never had to deal with before. And simply going ahead and making the unexpected happen in an environment where you can control it can give you a real leg up on your business operations. You're kind of sitting back and you're watching what's going on. You're saying, this is an area that needs to be improved. This is an area. And we're doing it by introducing stress into the system in a way that doesn't hurt the business and especially doesn't hurt our customers. The other thing that you can do is go ahead and schedule fire drills. And we actually did that today with this customer. There's gonna be another database collapse in February. We're basically gonna go in and say, the database is offline. We're gonna run all the diagnostic tests on the database. IT is gonna take care of that. The rest of the team is gonna to have to learn how do we run the business for the next eight hours without access to the database. There's sections of the business that need serious work because we're too reliant on this one tool. I think fire drills are one of those things, you know, for me, it's kind of neat to think back, oh, you did fire drills all the time in school and thinking about this business, there's definitely a place where fire drills can help tighten the screws on operations and make sure that we're basically prepared for the unexpected. I thought it was a good idea, and we're gonna see how it works with this client. I'll report back and let you guys know in February how things went. See you tomorrow. Pulling back the curtain on the production there, Marketplace originates in California, and of course there's a time delay, so when Kai recorded that, he didn't know for sure that yes, the Fed did raise interest rates.